Let's look at another problem of this type, how to find the standard matrix of a linear transformation. This time, the information given is not so direct. We know the images of E1 plus E2, which is E1, and we also know the image of E1 minus E2 is E2. So what is the image of twice of E1 under T? What is the image of twice E2 under T? Okay. Now, to E1, we notice that twice of E1 over here is simply the sum of these two vectors, E1 plus E2, this vector over here, and add E1 minus E2. Okay. Now, because twice E2 is this sum, so now we can find its image. So T of 2E1 is equal to T over here and E1 plus E2 and plus E1 and minus E2, like that. Now, because T is linear, so we have this image is equal to T E1 plus E2 and plus T E1 minus E2. Since we know the images of this vector and this vector, so now we know the image of 2E1. And this is simply going to be equal to, by the given condition, this is going to be E1. So this is going to be E1 and plus E2. Okay. So that's what we have. By the same reason, we see that twice of E2 is simply E1 plus E2 minus E1 minus E2, right? So we have the image of 2E2 is equal to the image of T E1 plus E2 minus E1 minus E2, right? So what we have now is T E1 plus E2 and minus T E1 minus E2. And these two images are given again. So this is going to be E1 and minus E2. Right? So now let's look at the last question over here, how to find the standard matrix of T. To find the standard matrix of T, we need the following thing. So we need this one over here, A. We know A is T E1 and T E2. Right? Now, we know the image of 2E1 is this one. So we have TE1 is half of this. So we have this one over here is half of E1 plus E2. And the second one over here is half of E1 minus E2. This is what we have. Or using numbers, this is what we have. We have half and half over here and half over here and negative one half. So that's going to be the standard matrix we can add over here since TE1 is half of T twice of E1, and that's going to be simply half of E1 plus E2. And that is 
one half and one half and also we have te2 is half of te2 over here and that's going to be half of e1 minus e2 and that's going to be one half negative one half all right